All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're going to get started. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. I'm sure we'll have some other people join here as we go, but uh, uh, we're going to get started with our our December webinar. Uh, we're, we're kind of we're really excited about this topic, and uh, we are recording this, so we're going to put it on YouTube afterwards and things like that, so everyone can can watch it or share it. If there's any brokerages on here who want to share this with their agents, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, we'll send out a follow up email that'll have uh, some links and different things. Um, to this webinar. Uh, this webinar is how to win clients online, an insurance perspective. And we, we're, so we're, we're gonna be talking about a couple of things. We can't go over everything. There's so much you can do online. There's a whole bunch of different uh, ways to essentially prospect online. Uh, I think last month or two months ago, we talked about LinkedIn. We had a LinkedIn webinar. If you haven't watched that, I highly recommend it. It's on our YouTube channel. If, you, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Um, you can find the link to our YouTube channel on our website at ixn.tech. It's just over in the navigation, actually. Um, and uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. Um, but first of all, uh, as we as we go here, uh, if some of you may have have trouble viewing it, uh, there is in your little menu bar uh, on your your screen share here. Uh, to view this in full screen, hover your mouse over the uh, the bottom right corner and look for the full screen option. It should look like this. Uh, it should help you see a little better. Um. <clears throat> My name is Lassie Young. I'm the president here at IXN. Many of you probably have heard of me or talked to me at some point in the past. Uh, because I'm I'm not just the president of the company, I also do sales. And I, I like to be very much involved with our clients. I like to be on the phones, on the ground. I go to most of the conferences. Well, I think I go to all the conferences uh, that we, we sh we're probably going to be going to a few more this year than we've gone to before. So uh, I may not be at all of them, but I try to go to all of them. It's my favorite part of the business is interacting with our clients. And so um, <clears throat> many of you probably know me. Uh, the agenda today is, uh, first is who is IXN, for those of you who don't know, we're just going to briefly go over that uh, and then move on. I think most of you, if you were on our list, on our email list, you probably know who we are. Um, we're going to quickly go over why do I need to be online. Um, we're going to talk about using quote engines to generate leads. And then uh, I'm going to go over some tips and tricks for driving traffic to your website. And then we're briefly going to talk about how IXN helps you with some of these things, and then uh, and then we'll go through questions, and we'll I'll describe how to go through questions. We have a little chat box up in your little green navigation buttons up top. There's a little chat box. If anyone's having trouble hearing me or anything like that, feel free to chat in up there. That's or you have questions, feel free to you know if you if you think of them along the way, feel free to type them into that chat box, and then I'll get to them at the end. Uh, or you can just wait till the end and type them in at that point. All right, so moving on. First item here, why do I need to be online? Um, and the first reason you need to be online is lead generation, really. Um, internet marketing, according to a study from uh, 2013, internet marketing tools own 85% of life insurance consumer base. Um, and let me explain that a little bit further. It doesn't mean that the agent isn't important anymore. It just showed that 85% of people um, <clears throat> said that they would use the internet in some way to purchase a life insurance policy. So imagine the implications of the statistics. Imagine that what the implications um, this statistic can have on your business if you're limiting yourself to just that 15%. If you're not doing, if you're not online at all, you're in that 15% category. Uh, you know, they may end up coming to you, and there may be other ways they find you, but if someone's going online, getting a quote, looking for information about life insurance, you want them to be doing that on your website. Uh, and so there are ways to do that in, you know, because it's really hard to compete online against carriers who have these billion dollar budgets, not really, but like, you know, really expensive budgets, $100,000 budgets for online marketing, stuff like that. Um, but that's one reason that you really need to be online in some form, um, preferably in as many forms as possible. Uh, the next item here is brand cre credibility and recognition. You know, nowadays it's really kind of important uh, to to have a brand that's online. 
uh, consumers, especially those coming up, they don't necessarily recognize a brand as a legitimate company unless they have a website. So if you don't have a website, if you don't have a Facebook page, a Twitter handle, a LinkedIn profile, those things can really hurt you, especially online. Um, you know, word of mouth marketing has always shown some of the highest conversion rates. Uh, this is because information is coming from a trusted source. Uh, in the graph on the left here, you'll see that recommendations result in an 85% trust rating, uh, trust rating basically. So in our world today, the medium consumers use, used to get these uh, recommendations is, is rapidly changing. You know, the way they're getting these rap recommendations, you know, 10, 20 years ago has changed. Uh, they're using social media, they're using websites, they're using um, different types of online mediums to get those recommendations. Um, <clears throat> uh, if, if we return to the graph on, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so you can see that on the right. So global, oh, gotta let someone else in. Uh, global percent of much slash somewhat more likely to buy a new product when learned through these me methods. So people are much more likely to buy a product if they've heard about it through either active search uh, a brand slash, slash manufacturer web page, uh, website articles, forum, uh, message boards, social media, uh, uh, some sort of banner ad that's lower on the list, video sharing sites, things like that. Um, so people are much more likely to buy it if they've heard about it through these mediums. And so if you aren't in those mediums, if you're not showing up in those mediums, you are essentially uh, really hurting yourself, especially online. So uh, returning to the graph on the left, we can see that 69% of com consumers trust content on branded websites and 68% of consumers trust um, uh, content posted on, oops, posted online um, in some sort. Um, so now I realize that I just threw a whole lot of numbers at you. Um, what does this all mean? The point is word of mouth marketing or marketing based on referrals and recommendations will bring the highest conversion rates to your business. So I want you to merge these numbers from the left graph in your mind and, um, and, and, you know, think about what kinds of things you're doing online, where you're, where people are getting their content from, where people are getting their, their source essentially, and hopefully they're getting them from you. Um, and so, uh, you know, hopefully they're getting it from your website, your social media page. You know, today's world is a lot about content marketing, which I'll get into a, a little bit later. Um, so basically, if you're not convinced yet, um, this is the kicker. You need to be online because it really helps you sell life insurance. Um, getting your name out there is great, but it means nothing if it doesn't lead to sales, right? Uh, so here we'll take a look at the effectiveness of online marketing at the end of the conversion funnel. So if you're not familiar with the conversion funnel, you know, you kind of lump everybody in at the top and then as, as you find out their needs, you move them down the funnel until eventually hopefully purchasing. Um, so in this infographic, you'll see that internet information was the largest influ influencer in the final two stages. So Stage one is you know, the initial consideration set. Stage two is the active evaluation. Stage three is the moment of purchase. Um, so in stage two and stage three, internet information was the number one source. I'll say it again. Um, <clears throat> the number one influencer of purchasing in those final two stages. So Basically, it's also important to note that word of mouth is the only one that shows up in every stage. Word of mouth is effective. And um, online content controls the, really controls the conversation um, really heavily. Oops, uh, moved, moved on a little too fast. So you, you wanna know a success rate? Uh, you've probably heard of ADP at InsideSales.com conference. The VP of Inside Sales Strategy for AP, ADP reported that reps who use social selling tactics are 50% more likely to meet or exceed their sales quotas. 50%. So 50% um, of these sales reps who use social media in some way in their selling process um, are, or, or sorry, sales reps are 50% more likely to meet or exceed their sales quotas if they're using these uh, social tactics. Uh, you know, when we talked about it in the LinkedIn webinar, our sales reps here at IXN 
are using LinkedIn, are using Facebook, are using Twitter to to connect with their clients. Rather than cold calling someone, they'll send a, a message to them on LinkedIn first. They'll kind of get some information on them. There's so much information online um, and uh, and they, they sh you should be using these tactics um, you know, on outbound, but also inbound marketing. Uh, so those are the three reasons you need to be online. Uh, <laughs> you wanna make, boatloads of cash, you want to be successful in the insurance industry, nowadays you need to be online. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, if, if you're fighting it, um, be online. Uh, so moving on. So using quote engines to generate leads. So it's no secret that IXN uh, has quite a few different quote engines out there that are available. Uh, there's also other companies, uh, you know, Quote It uses, has a health insurance rater, uh, there's companies out there who have like a long-term care, I think, or a final expense rating. There's there's a bunch of different quote engines that you can use. Um, I'm going to talk about four different ways to utilize these quote engines. A lot of our clients, uh, they either want to or purchase a quote engine from us, but then they're not successful with it. And the reason for that is because they're not using it. Uh, so the first item here is put it on your website. Uh, so let me let me give you an example of what this means. Um, so here's a client of ours. This is Rugari Financial Group. Um, <clears throat> I honestly don't know much about the agency. They've been a client with us for a while, uh, but they have a website. Now they're driving traffic to their website, you know, through various means, either word of mouth, they're putting posting things on social media, they're uh, doing a bunch of different things, right? Now when someone gets to their website, what happens? Someone gets there and they go, oh, okay, great. There's some content here. Uh, I can learn a little bit more about my, you know, what I do with my 401k, et cetera, et cetera. But unless there's a call to action, you're not going to turn this visitor into an actual lead. Now they've got a couple different call to actions. They've got to schedule a complimentary meeting, but they've also got to get a quote button here. Uh, so, with with your website you 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 have to have call to actions otherwise it's it's really a waste a lot of wasted space um and those uh these call to actions are are so important so, so this is this is our quote engine for example and someone can go in here uh fill out their info if uh tony if you're on this call i apologize you're going to get a fake lead right now uh but uh someone fills out their info uh, and they get a real-time quote. Now, this just sent a lead to uh, to Regary Financial. So they just got a lead that says, hey, someone ran a quote on your website. So it turns the actual visitors of your site into real leads, which is so important in the buying process or in the visitor process. Uh, that's one way to use your quote engine. Now, in a little bit, I'm going to go into more detail with this because I'm going to talk about not only how to uh, use the quote engine, but how to uh, drive traffic to your website uh, as well. So let's see here. Okay, next item on the list is to put it in your in your signature. Uh, so let me show you what that means. So here's here's my email. At the bottom of my at the bottom of my email, it says run a life insurance quote right now. So what that does is every email I send is now some sort of soft pitch. Now, obviously I'm not selling life insurance. I'm not a contracted agent. So it just says, ask me how you can get one of these in your email, which you wouldn't put there, but you should have some sort of button. You should have some sort of call to action. Many of you are use email for work, but also personal stuff. If you're, you know, let's say you're, you know, emailing the baby, not, not the babysitter, it might be a little young, but you're emailing your kid's soccer coach, for example, uh, to find out what time practices. Maybe Joe, the soccer coach, just had a baby. You don't know that. Uh, but you're not going to go out and solicit everybody you know about, you know, buying insurance or buying, you know, your services. But you're emailing him to find out what time uh, soccer practices this week. Why not have a link in your email that says, thought about protecting your family, have an image there, have something that's linked so they can get a quote. What happens? They click on that 
they come to your quote engine. This one, this is our, this is what's called our social link quoter. But they come to your quote engine and they run a quote. They fill out this info and you get a lead. Now that was someone you probably wouldn't have known about, or you probably wouldn't have known that they wanted insurance if you hadn't had that in your signature. Uh, so you should, you know, whether it's your personal or your business email, it's a very non-intrusive way to market yourself to your clients. Uh, I highly recommend putting something in your signature where someone can go in and get a real-time quote. It's a, it's one of the best ways to use a quote engine uh, because you're constantly sending emails. You know, I send probably I send a couple hundred emails a day, I think, and including my personal and business account. You never know who's going to click on that and who's going to run a quote. Highly recommend that. Um, Next item here, I'm just instead of going opening it up, um, is share it on social media. Uh, sharing it on social media is a very powerful way, and get your friends to share it for you, your family and friends. Uh, so here's an example. I'm sharing this one, so I already created the post. Uh, so here's a Facebook post, for example. Now this is my personal profile. You could also share it as a business. You could. There's different ways that you can do that. Um, <clears throat> But uh, but here I'm posting, uh, you know, about, you know, I said, looking to protect those who matter most to you. Click on the link below to get a free no-hassle quote. This this is a real-time quote. It takes about 30 seconds. And so I post that. I put my logo in as an image with it. So it's, it's nice. And then there's a link. Um, and now all my friends just saw that. And <clears throat> I can reach out to people individually who are no, who I know are, you know, really social or, you know, social contacts who I know are really active or who have a lot of friends or connections um, and ask them to reshare that. Or, or I can do it on Twitter and ask them to retweet. Uh, one medium that, that we especially like, I'm gonna delete this real quick. Uh, one medium that we especially like here at IXN is LinkedIn. Uh, here I shared my LinkedIn. So let me show you what this looks like. It automatically will grab the image. In, in this case, let me refresh real quick. It'll automatically grab the image from the landing page and put it into your LinkedIn post. So if I want to, I go up here, I share an article, I paste in my message, it puts a little image in, puts the link there, and then same thing. I share that on, on LinkedIn and people are seeing it. Now, doing this once is great. Uh, it, it's, it's fine. You do it once, awesome. But this, you should be posting this every once in a while. Not only that, you should be posting other content in between. Uh, you know, post, share this every once in a while, but share other content in between. You shouldn't always be trying to sell, but this is a great tool. You know, if you're if you're really trying to be on social media, you should be constantly, you know, posting. You know, uh, like for example, here we post on Twitter. I think two or three times a day. We post on Facebook twice a week and LinkedIn once a week. Um, and, uh, but most of our, most of our posts are not, Hey, buy our products. Most of our posts are, Hey, here's a really great article that we found. Hey, here's some cool info. Hey, this is funny. Check this out. And then every once in a while, I'll be like, Hey, we're doing this special or this or that. Um, great way to utilize, uh, a quote engine to, to turn those people into actual leads. Um, the last item here, the last way I will mention today, there are hundreds of ways, first of all, to use this. You can link a, a YouTube video. You can put a link in a YouTube video. You can, uh, you can, you know, share it in so many different ways. But uh, this one's kind of broad, and uh, you can really link it in all your marketing campaigns. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you have a quote engine. Uh, you should be linking it in all your campaigns. So here's, we use something called MailChimp here. Uh, MailChimp is our uh, um, is our email marketing system that we use. And uh, this is it here. And uh, I created, I took, it took me about three minutes to create this campaign. So I came in here, I, you know, put our logo on it, put a little picture of a family, put a little message in there. And then I had a button that says protect what matters most. Well, this is where I would then put a link in and then I would send it to my list of, of users. Uh, everything you have needs a call to action. Uh, you know, if, if, if our marketing team is getting ready to put out a marketing email and it doesn't have some sort of call to action in it, even if it's just a Merry Christmas email, um, I tell them to, you know, pull it back 
and add a call to action. There should always be a call to action. And this is a great call to action because people people love it. They can get a, you know, with a quote engine, they can get a real quote and they don't have to, um, they don't have to actually, oops, what just happened? Oh, <laughs> didn't finish it. So uh, they can get a real quote, a real time quote. And it's not, you know, you're not sending all their, their contact info to spammers and things like that. People are a little bit nervous about that, but you give them a real time quote and real rate and you're the only one contacting them, they can they they feel pretty good about it. So there you go. There's four ways. You know, you can also link, you could do like a QR code on the on a you know mailer piece. There's so many different things you can do. I uh, just wanted to kind of get you started. If you're not if you have our quote engine or a quote engine from a, a you know another company uh, I highly recommend uh, doing at least these four things, and then uh, feel free to contact your rep here at IXN. We can give you more ideas if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> awesome. So next item here, and remember, if you have any questions, just put them in that chat box up top. So next thing I'm going to talk about here is driving traffic to your website. I'm essentially going to give you guys about 15 tips on things you can do to drive traffic to your website. This is probably one of the top things I get asked about, uh, especially when people are buying websites from us, but just in general, you know, okay, great. I have this presence online. What do I do with it now? You know, and so a lot of people just don't know where to start. There are literally hundreds of thousands of things you can do to drive traffic. Um, but most people just either you don't have experience with it or you're not savvy or you just don't know where to start. And so I'm going to give you about 15 or 16 tips of things you can do to to get started. So first item here is create social media business pages. 100% free. It's just your time. It's very, very easy to do. Um, <clears throat> on the right here, I have a graph of the top 20 social platforms. I think this is a couple of years old, so it might have changed a little bit. Facebook is obviously the biggest and most popular. So the, if you can't read it, the dark, uh, the dark bar there is the percent of internet users who have an account. And then the blue one is the percent of internet users who active, actively use that account or that site. Um, <clears throat> so you can see that, uh, you know, Facebook is obviously the biggest. Everyone's heard of that. Amazingly, YouTube is huge. Now, a lot of people have accounts with YouTube, but not everybody uses it. You know, the percentage of people using it isn't great. Um, but that's, you know, considering this is everyone, <laughs> that's a lot of people on YouTube. So if you're, uh, make sure you have a business YouTube page. You know, like, like I was talking about, we have a YouTube channel and, and we are posting videos. Even if it's like a video from your cell phone, people dig that stuff. It's, you know, that's, that's where it's at today. People love video. Uh, Twitter, everyone should be on Twitter. Uh, Google Plus, a ton of people have Google Plus accounts. A lot of people don't even know they have Google Plus, Plus, Plus accounts because it kind of comes with Gmail, um, but it is very effective. Um, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I'm specifically going to talk about Google Plus. Instagram, LinkedIn, I think LinkedIn has probably creeped up there higher now. And some of those others, um, Pinterest, you know, there's, and then there's a bunch of others that many of you probably haven't heard of. Uh, so I won't go into those too much, but you, you should at least be on those top six. Uh, make sure you're on there and you have a business account. Uh, they're totally free. Um, if you need help with that, let us know. Uh, we've got some guides and tutorials, or we can at least guide you in the right direction um, with that. <clears throat> uh, now, once you have those, you got to promote your site. Uh, so, it, you know, social media is is for you know. My background is in marketing. I went to college from my 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 degree was in marketing, and it's crazy to me to think about what marketing was like before social media. Now I'm young. I'm 31. So, um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, I I social media is an amazing platform to get the word out there. Like I was talking about earlier, word of mouth marketing is still and probably will always be the number one way to get the word out there. You know, the number one highest converting rate or converting tool and also um, the, the best way to get the word out there. Well, social media is a way to streamline word of mouth marketing for you. Um, <clears throat> so you should be sharing your website. Everything 
that you're sharing should have a link back to your website, whether it's a landing page that you created on your website, whether it's a, just a page on your site, uh, you should be driving traffic to your website in all of your, your social media platforms. Usually with most platforms, you can put a link on there. So with LinkedIn, you can actually put a link to your website right on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, I think uh, same thing with the Facebook business page, uh, same thing with a Twitter account. All those should be linking back to your website and then some posts should also be linking to your site. Um, <clears throat> I can't stress this enough. If you're not using this, it's a free tool. You're, you're, you're losing out on so much. Um, create a LinkedIn publication that have interesting topics. So LinkedIn, again, powerful tool. Uh, with, within LinkedIn, you can create articles, you can create groups, you can join groups and create articles within those groups. Find interesting topics that would be interesting to your client base and share those things. Uh, today, there's something, something we call content marketing and it's content is king. That's what we say in marketing. Uh, you get the content out there, you'll find that people come to you. One of the things that we do is on our website, we have like a free uh, um, free ebook that you can download on, you know, marketing your business or online marketing or things like that for insurance. And, uh, and it's, it drives traffic, it drives visitors, it drives leads to us. And you can do the same thing via LinkedIn. Um, it's, it's not too complicated. Uh, put your URL, your website address on everything. I thought this video, this uh, this link was funny. Someone had graffiti a link to a Vimeo of them graffitiing this. Um, <clears throat> so uh, obviously you don't want to go and graffiti your your web address somewhere. If I get in trouble, but uh, you really should be sharing your link. You, you should should make sure the link to your website is on everything, on your business cards, on your marketing material everything. If you see any IXN marketing material, you will always see a link to our website, whether it's digital or print uh, or otherwise. <clears throat> uh, one thing you can do that not a lot of people that know that you can do is submit your websites to every directory. There are specialty listings like, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Uh, you know, there's the yellow pages. There's uh, there's there's review type sites. Uh, Google Google has reviews. You know, you should be asking your clients to review you on those things, but you can't have them review you if you're not submitted. So go online and look for different directories that you can submit your business, your organization to, uh, especially if it's within a certain group or a certain uh, category that that you specialize in. You should definitely be be submitting to those things. A lot of times, you it's free. Uh, sometimes it's you have to pay for it. I think Yellow Pages. I can't remember if it costs a little bit online. Uh, obviously, the, there's Yellow Pages in the book, like everyone's used to. But there's also Yellow Pages online that helps you with search results. There's Google Plus. There's a bunch of different things. Um, this is a big one. Just ask people. Ask your staff. Uh, you know, if you have people working for you, ask them to share. You know, when we do a post here, our sales team will 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 you know share it, and that creates more visitors, more traffic, and more people will see it. So ask your staff. You have people. You know, if you have people working for you, make sure that they're sharing everything themselves as well. Um, <clears throat> there are tons of online communities you can share. There's forums. There's there's blog communities. There's uh, there's there's you know different pay, different groups within social media platforms. There's tons of these online communities where you can go on and you can uh, share content and just comment on things and set yourself up as an expert. Uh, great way to to drive traffic and you know every once in a while put a little link back to your site. See what happens. Uh, if you're not using email marketing, some people think that email marketing is going away. I'm here to tell you it's not. We use it all the time. All of you are here because of email marketing. Um, email blast your customers about the new website or about your website. Uh, make sure every email blast that goes out has a link to your website or your quoter or whatever it is that you're, you're, you're putting out there. Um, this is one that was interesting. I actually learned how to do this when I was a missionary. So I was a missionary in Colorado for a couple of years. And one of the things I did was whenever I got to a new town, 
I would go to the local um, publication, uh, you know, local newspaper type of thing. And I would say, hey, I'm originally from Denmark. My uh, my friend here who's cross-sliding with me is from Germany. I had one from Germany. I had one from North Carolina. You know, I had one from California. I, you know, I said, you know, we're going to be knocking on people's doors and talking to them about our religion. Would you be interested in posting an article or writing an article about us? And almost always they were interested in some way or another. Uh, if you have a good idea or, or uh, something that's helpful, uh, reach out to your local publications and uh, and then see if they'll you know try to get them to in include a link to your website those they they are content drivers and that is one way to really kind of get get drive some major traffic to your site if, if you can get them to do it uh, it doesn't always work uh, but it's worth a try um, ask your friends and family to share your website, uh, you know, on different social media platforms. We talked about sharing, you know, having your employees, but also friends and family. You know, you, 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 you were gifted into this family uh, who also have connections um, and you have these friends and you should be utilizing them to, to share. It. Don't overuse it because you don't want to burn out your family and friends, but, you know, ask them to share something every once in a while. Uh, here's one that not a lot of people are that familiar with. Uh, most people know what Google Plus is. It's a social media uh, platform. And if you have a Gmail account of some sort, you have a Google Plus account. Well, it, we used to have something called Google Places, was, which was your local search. Uh, basically, when you do like a map search, it shows all the, all the businesses that are within you know, a certain vicinity of, of yours. Uh, make sure that you have a Google Plus account and you're actively using that and ask people to rate you on there. Because when people do a Google search online and they search for life insurance agent in my area, let me show you here. Let's go to Google real quick. I promise I'm almost done, guys. Hopefully this has been informational. But if I go life insurance, Provo, Utah, that's where we are. Or let's do life insurance agent. How about that? Life insurance agent, Provo, Utah. If I do a search, you'll notice that, hey, here's some ads. Okay, these big companies, eight, uh, Farmers, John Hancock. Um, his, this one looks like it might be more local because it says Salt Lake. But if I go down here, we got Brian Johnson. We got Keystone Insurance Services. We got a state farm guy again. Um, these are all people who have Google accounts. And look, some of them even have ratings. Um, and, and the ones that have ratings are showing up at the top. The ones that don't are showing down a little further. There's some down here as well. But it's all based on vicinity. Ray Smith, uh, it looks like the State Farm guys are pretty good at this. Um, but if you're an independent agent, you need to be in this list. Uh, and your Google Plus account is what's, what's going to help you do that. Uh, there's probably a lot more agents in this vicinity who are not showing up on this list um, because they're not they're not on Google. You, and you can register your website with it. You can do a lot of things. Very very important that you're using Google Plus uh, to uh, to get the word out there. And you're using Google essentially. That gives you the power of Google, and you can be up there ranked with the big boys um, because it's local. Uh, Google puts a lot of weight behind local marketing. Make sure you're in that list. Uh, promote your, you can promote your website through paid search. Everything I've talked about up to here is basically free, minus actually creating a website, obviously, unless you do it with some sort of free website tool or you're a developer. Um, but promote your website through paid search, such as search engine AdWords and social media advertising. Um, this is interesting. Uh, I... Uh, it gets expensive. So warning you guys, it's not an easy thing to do and it's not, and it's expensive. Be careful when using Google. Um, you can quickly waste a lot of money doing this, but it can also be very effective. Um, Google has a team that'll help you, um, but make sure you kind of know what you're doing. Don't just give them a bunch of money and say, here you go, do it for me. Uh, Cause they will do that for you, but they'll get you in a bunch of places that don't apply sometimes. Uh, social media advertising is actually really cool. Uh, we do Facebook ads. Uh, we've got them paused right now because we're going to be shutting down our office for about the next week and a half starting tomorrow. Um, we usually shut down for the holidays. Um, but uh, 
uh, you can actually, if you've got like an upload up, or like a list of people, uh, users, you can upload them to your campaign and then Facebook will only show your ads to people who are similar or within that group. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, if, so if everyone's within, if everyone you upload is within, you know, a 30 mile radius, it's mainly going to show people within that radius, you know, and, and some others, but it's, so it's very, very pointed and, um, and targeted. Uh, but it's, uh, I'm not saying paid search is a bad way to go. It can be a very, very powerful tool if you do it right, but you can also waste a lot of money doing it. Be careful. Um, publish free information and reports about the products you offer. So make sure there's content. You know, that's what I was talking about before. Content is king. So post content on your website, post content on your, your social media platforms, on your blog, on, you know, everywhere you can post content that directs people back to you and that sets you up as this expert, this industry expert, and people will trust you and they'll come to you. Uh, one thing you can do is you can link trade with other companies to get your website linked to to more. So <clears throat> you have, uh, maybe you're working with an agent, maybe you're a, uh, a life insurance agent and you've got a PNC agent who you work with and you send all the PNC business to him, he sends all his life business to you. Uh, you, you should each have a website that links to each other. Uh, that drives more traffic. It's not as effective as it used to be about 10 years ago. This was like the, one of the number one ways to drive traffic to your site, but Google got smart because um, people were just link trading and hiding a bunch of links on their site. Uh, but it is still effective. Uh, it is still a very effective tool for driving traffic. Uh, so make sure that you're doing it in an honest way, that the links are visible. They're not like hidden in the code in the back end, but a uh, great way to drive traffic to your site. Oh, did I skip one? Nope. Okay, provide free samples or giveaways. Uh, this is this is kind of cool. People love free stuff. So do some free samples, do it on social media. It's a great way to have some social media campaigns. Uh, and, uh, and you know, whether it's free sample, like a lot of you, you know, you're not selling cookies. So it's not like you can give away free samples of cookies. Uh, you're selling insurance, but <clears throat> give away free items, give away free consultations. Uh, give away free free recommendations, stuff like that. Free quotes. There you go. Qu quoting on your website. Give away free stuff and uh, and watch the leads come in. Uh, there are a lot of tools out there for classifieds for uh, that you can post free. You can post your links to. Uh, post on Craigslist. You know, uh, here in Utah we have something called KSL.com. It's a local news company. They have a classified section. You should be posting your uh, your info to your your link to your website, your link to your content on those platforms. Uh, you know, look up what your local classifieds are, whether it's a publication where you have to pay for it, or a lot of times there's online stuff that's free. You know, post your services, post consulting services for for insurance, things like that. Um, great, and and link it to your site, and drive traffic. So that's it. Those are the tips and tricks. Uh, I just want to really quick talk about how we can help here at IXN. If you're not a customer already, uh, we have several different products. We have our website quoter. It can plug right into your website. It's $25 a month. You pay month to month. You can try it for a while. If you already have a website, you can plug it into that site. If you don't, uh, coming up. Uh, social link quoter. That's a, that was what you saw in my email signature. That was what you saw me sharing on social media there. Um, great tool, also $25 a month. We have something called our Facebook Quoter, a little bit cheaper, $20 a month. It plugs right into your Facebook business page. So if you create a Facebook business profile um, and someone goes and visits it, you can put a quote engine right on there. It's called a, a tab app. It's a really cool little tool for running quotes. It's a little bit different than the other two. Um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, feel free to check that out and then last but not least we also do websites so really inexpensive website services it's $2.99 set up $35 a month and if you haven't seen our promotion for the month of December this month only we're doing half off the setup fee so normally it's $2.99 for the month of December we're doing uh, it's $150 so if you're brokerage and you've got some agents who are thinking about a website send them to us uh, we've got a promo code for them uh, if you're an agency, um, 
and uh, and you're looking to build your own website, do a new site, uh, you know, send, uh, you, you know, you can, it's it's a great time to build uh, build a website because you get it for for really really cheap. And uh, uh, so we, we do really nice websites. All of them are mobile optimized. They have a lot of features that are included in them. Included in them. Um, and I was just uh, chatting uh, one of my coworkers. The 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 offer or the promo code on checkout for the half off for the websites is Holiday Half 2016, all one word. So Holiday Half 2016. Uh, again, only this month. It will expire on the 31st. Um, Really, really great service. So those are some of the, the ways we help with some of the things I've talked about. Uh, we're happy to give you advice and consult with you as well um, on any of these services. Again, we'll be sharing this um, this presentation on our YouTube channel. Please follow us on YouTube. Um, and so now we'll finish up with if anyone has any questions, uh, like I, I said, there's that chat box up top. It's probably green for you guys. Uh, feel free to post them in there. Um, while I'm waiting for any questions to come in, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Uh, on our website, if you go to ixn.tech, uh, you can find our social media profiles there. And so you go to ixn.tech, you go down here at the bottom. And if you want to find our YouTube channel, you can find that here. Uh, our Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, please follow us. Uh, we're constantly posting content, things like that. Like for example, let's post, let's click on, let's go to our Twitter profile. So, uh, you know, we're we're all the time we're promoting, we're we're posting links and tips and tricks. And if you follow us, you'll see those. You'll also see our our offers. Um, you know, here was an article: uh, marketing marketing without direction is pointless. Here are three tips for targeting insurance. And that we have a link, and so uh, follow us on these on those platforms, please do. Doesn't look like we have any questions, uh, so I think we're going to call it good. Thank you everybody for coming. Uh, we really appreciate all your support and uh, and everyone who who came here to to watch this presentation. Uh, everyone, watch your inbox for your email. Hope you have a great holiday season, um, and. Uh, and, and we look forward to the new year of 2017. Keep an eye out for next month's webinar and your email. And we'll see you in 2017. Thanks.